Imagine having your electricity cut off because someone else's unpaid bills. Fox 59's Levi Harvey talks with the renter who's left paying hundreds to get his lights back on. One resident I talked to says he is frustrated because AES says he has to pay the previous tenant's bill. He says that's not fair. An unexplainable electric bill for more than $700 has one renter on edge. Reno Benaveni is renting a home on the Far East Side. He says AES Indiana expects him to pay the previous tenant's bill in full for power to be restored. Reno Benaveni tells Fox 59 he moved into the home at the end of July. Benaveni says he had no clue about the previous tenant's unpaid balance until his lights were cut off on Tuesday. Any attempts to clear the issue with AES have been unsuccessful so far, and the landlord isn't getting involved. My landlord didn't live here. She just rents the place, so how is it her problem? How is it my problem? I'm just a leasee. It's, it's the, they, they have collection agencies to go after people that don't pay their bills. Coming up, we hear from experts on what you can do if you find yourself in this situation. In Indianapolis, Levi Harvey, Fox 59 News. In a written response to our questions, AES said it cannot speak to us about a specific customer's bills. But AES does say the renter in our story is not responsible for a previous customer's bill. The utility did not address why he still doesn't have power, though. We'll continue pushing for those answers.